Hello sunshines, welcome to my bathroom. This is the bathroom that I use the most. We have another one in our bedroom, but this is where all my stuff is. So today I'm gonna show you guys a little tour of the products that I keep in my bathroom, the things that I use, a little rundown. I don't think I'll be able to get through like every single product that I have. This video is just to give you an idea of, how, of what I have and how I store my products in such a small space and trust me this is a very small space I don't think you guys are gonna be able to get that through the whole video like how small this space is and actually my camera isn't even in the bathroom with me right now I am inside the camera is outside of the door because the camera and the stand will not fit inside with me and you know that being a curly girl and on top of that a youtuber I will have a lot of products, yes, but I give a lot of products away as well because I'm not someone who likes to keep things that I don't use or that I necessarily know that I don't want to use or may never use or don't like. So I'm constantly giving stuff away, but enough babbling, let me show you around. Here I just keep my daily skincare, the stuff that I'm using at the moment. And this is it and I like to keep it in this little thing here right on my sink area I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this um, but right now let me just tell you if you follow me on Instagram you are seeing this stuff all over my Instagram I am in love with it and my skincare has gone to another level with this stuff I'm just obsessed okay this is May Lindstrom I'll just say that because then I'll go on forever so I keep it there. This is my hand soap. This is the Honest hand soap. It's the lavender one. It's non-toxic, so I love it. And on this area, this is where I keep my toothbrush and this is my brushing rinse. Q-tips in a mason jar. In this apothecary jar, I keep my reusable face pads. These are the ones, let me show you. These are the ones that I made in my eco-friendly DIY video. And these are ones that I purchased already made from Etsy. And that is what I like to keep on my sink. And this is my medicine cabinet. I will go through it with you starting here. These are two Derma E products that I tend to use when I, my skin is very problematic. Microdermabrasion scrub. Very clear moisturizer for acne. This is a honest breathe easy rub. It's like the natural version of vapor rub. This is a Tata Harbor highlighter that I keep here just on the days that I want to run out and just add a little glow to my skin. This is the scent I'm currently using right now. I'm obsessed with it. It's an oil scent. It's non-toxic as well and it's just simple and it lasts really long so I love this one. These other ones are Pacifica so I'm not currently using them. This one's actually new. I just received it yesterday. I don't know what it smells like yet. Peppermint, tea tree, hand sanitizer band-aids in the back now on the second row i have a bunch of oils and essential oils these things i practically use daily this is my deodorant for primal pit paste rosemary essential oil lavender and jojoba all from mercola this is my rms beauty oil which i've been using for a very long time i love this oil this is a vitamin a serum from mad hippie i don't use it all the time i use i just use it sometimes here are some random things. This is my eyebrow and eyelash growth oil that I made in my skincare. I'll link it below. Here I have scissors, tweezers, um, this brush from, from May Lindstrom for my mask that I use. This is an old toothbrush for my baby hairs. I have dental floss right here and this little thingy I believe I got like at Target or something. And right here I just store random loose items like hair ties, bobby pins that I always grab. And I have a bunch of these thingies here that go on my products to lock them so if I carry them in my bag, they don't spill accidentally. And it gives you more room to stack items up in this big space here while putting things away as well. Now on the very bottom, I have a few other items. This is my toothpaste that I make. Again, it's in the same video. And these are some other made Lindstrom products that I absolutely love. So I keep them right here where I can see them and they fit well, so. Now over the toilet, I have this awesome ladder storage thing that holds a bunch of items. Right up here, I have four Tata Harper skincare products. I love 
this stuff. It's awesome, it's luxury, and the ingredients are amazing. These two items, as you can see in the front, are the ones that I use the most. These other two products on the back I don't really use often, and this one actually makes my face break out, so I don't use it that much, but I do use it on my body sometimes because it's an anti-aging serum. And this body oil I practically use every single night after my shower. This right here is a dry brush for my body. I love dry brushing, and that's from Eco Tools. And then over here I have some products that I have to try out. This is just stuff that I received in my P.O. box. Box. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you may know that. And then here on the bottom I have some other products that I may grab here and there. These are some products that I just love having out. This is from Organic Bath Co. This is a great duo. This is awesome for like a nightly pampering your body when you're like stressed out or you just need something relaxing. This is awesome. It smells like lavender. This is an organic healing balm by Honest. I also have the Honest Deodorant. I've been using this for a long time and I love it. I typically love using the spray ones when I shower at night because I don't like to put stuff on under my arms that's like sticky or thick. So the spray one is just clean and simple. And I love using this after working out when I come out of the gym. I carry one in my, in my gym bag as well. This is a Dr. Bronner's Lavender Lotion. And this is an Honest Body Lotion. And this is one of the perfumes that I've been using for years and I love. And this is Honey Coconut from Love & Toast. Over my toilet I have a room spray, a candle, an incense holder, baby wipes. And these are disinfecting wipes that I use all over the bathroom. They're just easy and simple to grab and use and anything that you need it for, whether you're a guest or you live here. And this is a great natural disinfecting wipe that doesn't contain crazy chemicals that's just going to add harmful stuff to your home. Here I have a cart with just simple items to hold other products that I may want to grab and use at any time, whether I'm in the shower or just in the bathroom in general. These are some basics, my coffee scrub, which is also in my DIY video, baking soda, which I use on my hair, on my body, to exfoliate, to cleanse my skin. Baking soda is just great to have in the bathroom overall for cleaning and beauty purposes. Then of course, I have some coconut oil. And this is my spray bottle that I use for my hair. There's some rosemary essential oil in there and a piece of the actual rosemary plant that I just clipped off my plant that I have in my room. And then right here on the bottom, I have some hair products and some skin products as well, but mainly hair products. These gray pouches are from Ikea. This is my DIY oil that I use on my hair when I'm scalp massaging. This is a hair cream that I typically use on my son. I don't really use this on myself. And here I have two Shea Moisture leave-in conditioners that I often use. In the back I have these two new products called Shea Girl from the brand Shea Moisture as well, but it's a separate line called Shea Girl. And then over there I have some Curls Blueberry Bliss products that I often use. And then these are my blades to my shaver. Right here I keep other items. These are all Shea Moisture mask in the back. This is a Michael Todd mask. And this is my favorite body cream. I use this when I want to pamper myself. It's a very expensive cream and it's amazing. It has awesome ingredients. These are some Pacifica wipes. I just have them just in case and they're not even open. So I haven't even used them yet. In the bottom I have my waxing kit and some organic bath bombs. Now here's what I keep in my shower. That there is a shower filter. If you guys have seen my vlogs, that is very, 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 very necessary. I'll place some links down below to um, why I have it and where I got it from. Here I have a eucalyptus shower gel, which I love. I am obsessed with eucalyptus. And here I have some awesome shampoos. This is a coconut one and this is a and this is a burdock and neem. It's just very refreshing. And right under that, I have the conditioners to match. This is a product to keep my feet smooth. Over here, I have some shaving items. Of course, my Dr. Bronner's shave gel, which I which lasts so long and I just, I will always like it. This is actually a cream body wash, but I use it as a shaving cream. And this one is a shave oil. This is my face brush. I've had this for a very long time. You guys know that. These are just simple face cleansers. This tea tree one I love using after the gym or just any time. It prevents acne for me and I really, I've always liked it. You guys, I, I don't know what else to say. I just, you guys know I love this. This is a cream cleanser for the days that I'm not necessarily trying to do heavy cleansing because it's not needed. It's a simple 
cleanser, it's cream, and it's moisturizing. This is the only detangling brush I've had in the past four years, I would say. I actually got this at my first ever YouTube beauty event, which was like in 2011, and I still have it. This is a handy back scrubber thingy to get your back and to exfoliate. On the other side, I have a mirror, my shaver, an organic cotton washcloth. A hairbrush, which I use occasionally. Over here, I just have some of my current favorite grabs. This Shea Moisture Detox and Refresh Duo. It's very minty and very clarifying and cleansing, so that's why I have it there. And of course, the Low Porosity Duo because it, wor it works really well on my hair and my hair is low porosity, so I like to have it in the shower. I also featured this in one of my videos and this is the conditioner. I like the cleanser much more than the conditioner, but the conditioner is also great and it has great ingredients. This is Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Bar Soap. And this Dr. Bronner's Lavender Soap is the one I practically use every single day. It's my daily thing. The African Black Soap, this is the one that I like. If you're into African Black Soaps, then this is the one I recommend. And this is the Eucalyptus and Tea Tree kind. And these are just some deep conditioners that I often use. Now here's an overview of what I have in my sink and what I store in here and how I store it. These are just racks that I added on top because you can store stuff under and you can store stuff on top. It just is simple and easy to just store whatever you want. The things in the front are things that I may typically grab here and there and the things in the back are things that I may not be using currently but I may use later and it's not like something that I use often. For example, Diva Curl is not an often thing for me. I have a ton of their products, but I don't use them often. And when I do, it's on an occasional basis and it's usually for special occasions. And as you can see, it's there's a lot of them. And the only reason I have so many is because I have been sent some of them and um, I don't use them a lot, like I said. And they're not as natural as I like my products to be, so that's another reason why I don't use them that much. This is what I use to clean my makeup brushes at the moment. I still use Dr. Bronner's, but I'm using this one right now. This is a, another spray deodorant, other products. I have a bunch of Shea Moisture oils down here that I use for random things, either for my body, for my hair, just to mix things up. Rose Hip Oil, this is a Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner from the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. Here I have more. These are all basically Shea Moisture products that hold back is filled with Shea Moisture products. The ones in the front are the ones that I'm just right now using. The Coconut Hibiscus line is my favorite, so that's always going to be a part of my collection. Back here, I have some stuff from the new line that I haven't actually tried yet. And out of all Shea Moisture products, this is my number one. These sprays I have here are really nice and handy because when I don't want to use water in my hair and I just want something to refresh in, I use sprays like those or like this one. Right there in the back, I have other items like body scrubs and hair creams that I'm not using as often right now. And I'm just gonna stop it right here because this video is already way too long. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye sunshines. I cry,